Sudan's historic port of Suakin, an old city built of coral. It was formerly the region's chief port along the Red Sea, once a major trade hub and port to ship slaves and Muslim pilgrims to the Arab Peninsula. But today, it is in ruins. Paints is crumbling from many buildings lining on paved and dusty roads. Restoring this once bustling port city decaying for decades is part of government efforts to boost tourism as Sudan is trying to overcome a severe economic crisis. The Red Sea coast, where its beaches and the biggest port city, Port Sudan, 30 miles north of Suakin, is already a popular destination for Sudanese. It is why Sudan welcomed Turkey, a nation that has ties with Suakin that date back to the 15th century Ottoman Empire, to help spruce up the coral ruins. We expect that after the restoration, tourists will come from Turkey because these ancient monuments are of Turkish origin. It is for sure that the Turkish government is concerned about the buildings it's repaired. We expect large numbers of tourists after the restoration. Ahmed put the number of foreigners coming in the main winter season at 3,000 to 4,000. Bringing tourists is key to help a region where hunger has been simmering over a lack of development compared to the capital where the country's wealth is concentrated. The Turkish company, which is being paid by Sudan's government, has hired some 60 Sudanese workers. Restoration of the ancient buildings is hoped will leave locals with skills as well as give the whole city some of its old glory. Uh, these buildings is Ottoman Empire was built. It. Uh, I think it uh, will build it 15th century. Uh, now we came to and uh, we want to restore, uh, restore all of them uh, buildings. First original, original. Uh, now uh, we want to make good project, good uh, restoration. And the, our aim is uh, we want to teach Sudanese people how can make uh, restoration. Though being home to more pyramids than Egypt and other historic sites, Sudan has had little success attracting tourists due to tight visa rules, a lack of hotel infrastructure and a branding problem after years of decades of wars. State-owned Sudan Airways offers from Port Sudan only one international connection every week going to Cairo, forcing many to fly to Khartoum first and then rely on the unreliable domestic network. Those stories who still come face an uphill struggle with bureaucracy, requiring them to get permits for any domestic trip. But despite the obstacles, some impact of the restoration works on the economy can be already seen. When we we'll, uh, start uh, the restoration, uh, the Sudanese people don't know anything about the restoration. But uh, seven months later, uh, now uh, you can see uh, the growing, uh, they learn uh, too much.